Good morning guys, it is Jill. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. So today, I figured I would do a day in the life vlog. Put some lip balm on real quick, hold on. By the way, this is the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi lip something. I don't know. It's like the lip balm and it's in the color Honey. But today, <coughs> I have a little bit of a scratchy throat, which I'm a little concerned about. Uh, it is Thursday, August 15th, and I've got to go drop Ava off at school. Then I've got to go pick up groceries from Walmart. I'll do a grocery haul. Then I'm going to go to the gym. And then afterwards, I've got some ground beef that I'm going to... Each week, I've bought a package or two of two and a quarter pounds of lean ground beef. So over the course of like a month, I've been kind of just like racking up on them. And today, when I go pick up my groceries from Walmart, it's going to be... Um, I have another two packages. So I have a total of five packages and what I'm going to do today after the gym is cook all of the ground beef. Just cook it and then I'm going to obviously let it cool off and I'm going to measure out a pound in each of my little freezer bags. And so that way when I need ground beef, it's already cooked, it's or it's just in the freezer and I have to defrost it or th thaw it. Or I think actually if I'm gonna do a crock pot meal, I probably just throw it in the crock pot. That's what's on the agenda today. I also probably have to do some editing. I've gotta do it, I've gotta do, edit a video. Um, I think it's a what I ate, what I ate in a day video for my um, weight loss channel. So groceries, grocery haul, film that, gym, come back and do the prepping. All right, so change of plans. It's dark. See how dark it is in here? I don't think I'm gonna go to the gym. And the reason for that is because I have a lot, listen to me, breathing hard. I've got a lot of work to do, you guys. And I start work soon. I'm also not feeling that great. Like, I'm all, and then my throat is kind of hurting. So, where's my water? Yeah, I'm not sure that I'm gonna go. I mean, I still have like an hour and a half to decide. But, I'm gonna show you the bags of the groceries real quick. If you guys want to see this grocery haul, you can go over to my main channel. Sorry, I'm still out of breath. <laughs> that was a lot. I can tell you what though, you guys, link down below for a $10 off coupon. If you've never tried it, or even if you have, you can still use a $10, $10 off coupon. <sighs> what a time saver. Like I would still, be, I would just now be starting, <clears throat> like maybe getting out of the produce section if I were in the store right now. So shopping for this stuff myself. I shopped last night, it took me 20 minutes. I went by a recipe, so I literally just like typed everything in that I needed, um, added it to the cart, like it was so easy. And I have one of those videos coming up if you guys have never used it. I take you from start to finish and how to do it. Um, it's so easy and they loaded it they these are the bags so now really all I had to do was put in the groceries like in the house and then you know um, unload these and of course I'm gonna film this but um, they gave me they gave me a little bag of treats you guys want to see what's in here this did not come in there by the way that was my that's for a recipe. Um, but yeah, this little bag is like full of stuff. First they gave me this little thing. Um, so I can, you know, do the survey. Let's just pour all this stuff out. This is like a little back to school special that they're running. 
So I got, oh, a chewy granola bar, chocolate chip, some Jif Power Ups. Oh, I've never seen those before. How much protein does that have? Um, it has 6 grams of protein, 190, 190 calories, 11 grams of fat, 18 carbs. Those look good. Um, then we have, oh, a Tide Pods. All right. Then we have a Lucky Charms bar. Fun fact, my favorite cereal of all times is Lucky Charms. Um, oh, then we got some butt wipes. <laughs> some Cottonelle flushable wipes. Ooh, what is this? Nature Valley Crispy Creamy Wafer Bar Peanut Butter Chocolate? That looks delicious. And then, what's this? Oh, it's a little Trident Vibes. Tropical Beet. I'm assuming it is a piece of gum. How cute is that? Oh, it's so cute. And then this, oh, this is so cool. Free sample of Snuggle Scent Shakes. How cool. That was awesome. So sometimes Walmart will do that where they will give you those little bag treats. I love that. Like who doesn't love free stuff? That was completely 100% free. I did not have to pay a single penny for it. And on top of that, if you have not shopped with them before, you get a free like baggy gift too. So they do it. They run promotions throughout the year. And then your very first one, you'll also get one. So I'm going to go ahead, unload these groceries, fill my grocery haul, and then we're going to get to cooking because one of the um, crock pot meals, the dump and go crock pot meals is going to be some, um, it's going to be some soup because the three of us are just all not feeling that great. The, the kids are like super stuffy. Like I said, this throat is not feeling good. So get that done and then I will start, um, I'll show you guys when I start um, browning all of the ground beef. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do because if you guys don't know, I'm super, super OCD about my macros and how I count my calories. I calculate everything that I put in my mouth and I also weigh everything. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. But yeah, I'm gonna go film this, catch my breath, and I'll see you guys when I start filming or browning up this meat. So in case you guys were interested, I went ahead and just gave you, or I'm going to give you a quick overview of my groceries. There is my meat flying out. I've got three packages. For some reason I thought I had four, but yeah, I think that was it. Three packages, um, some drinks, and then the rest is right here. So I'm gonna fill my grocery haul and then like I said, I'll see you guys when I start not browning that meat, but browning up this meat since this is thawed. Okay, so I told you guys I'm super OCD about my macros and that's because I'm on a weight loss journey and I really like to get as accurate as possible. So what I'm doing here is I'm weighing out one pound of ground beef and I'm gonna go ahead and brown up the one pound of ground beef. If you guys did not know, raw meat weighs more than cooked meat. So since I want to individually put one pound of ground beef in, in a freezer bag, by the way, I'm showing you guys, I listen to you, I'm using a wooden spoon and not a, a metal spatula. Um, but yeah, each individual bag, I want to be exactly one pound weighed out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook. And since I needed to go ahead and cook one pound anyways, for the meal that I was cooking, it was no big deal that I did this. But if you guys wanted to know, it equates out to be exactly 11.45 ounces of cooked ground beef equals 16 ounces a pound of raw ground beef. Um, so I went ahead and I weighed every single um, little baggie to be 11.45 ounces. So just in case you guys wanted to know, Number one, why I did that? And number two, if you do that or if you want to start doing that, then I've already taken all the hard work out there for you. And you can just go ahead and just weigh out on a scale 11.45 ounces of ground beef. It has to be lean ground beef because I did lean ground beef. I'm just, I don't know if the other ground beefs are different, but lean ground beef, um, that's exactly what it is for one pound. I wanted to show you guys real quick my dinner. This is something I prepped this past week. Um, from the company Every Plate, and I have a discount code if you guys are interested. It's like a meal delivery service, 
um, where they send you the recipes and all the ingredients and then you just make them and everything was so delicious. So I made these for my lunches and so I'm finishing this. This one was my favorite. This one was my favorite out of all three that they sent me. Um, and this is just like meatballs with homemade mashed potatoes and some roasted zucchini. It is delicious. And oh, I wish you guys could smell this when you open this up. Like, oh, all those herbs. This smells delicious. So I cannot wait to eat that tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it Somehow we can't miss out and a half pounds of ground beef. Um, I made a total of 11 and a half pounds because remember, one pound is in our soup that we're making in the crock pot tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay these in the freezer and then I'm gonna get to cleaning this pot and these countertops and this sink and then I'm gonna go do some editing for tonight. Freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. Classic cliche, we're on the run. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. So, ugh. okay, I got this little topics set, and I am so intrigued and so excited to try this. Okay, so this is like full hair instantly, hair building, hair building fibers. I got it in medium brown. I went ahead and I got the um, topics fiber spray because they say that these two together. It's not, these little fibers are not supposed to go anywhere. And the thing that's cool too is that they're like supposedly like hair-like fibers versus just being like a tinted spray. So super excited about that. And yeah, like I said, these two together are supposed to be like super sweating, um, working out, rain, whatever happens to you, like, I mean, obviously, if you're putting hairspray up here, you're not going to want to keep doing this. So I'm just, that's just a habit I'm going to have to get out of. But super excited to try it. They're, like I said, it's supposed to last through everything, and it's not supposed to come off until you shower. Now, I have used um, the Batiste Tinted Brown, 
and I've also used um, some brown eyeshadow. But I noticed that it's like, you'll see it and you'll look at the top of my scalp and you'll just see like a little chunk of like whatever and you're like, what is that? Like it looks disgusting. So anyways, this little set is obviously optional but it comes with a little thing that you can attach to the top of your little hair building fiber and you see how it's like pointed so you can actually like really get into those spots and it's like little whatever that thing is um, and then you have this little comb that helps to you know um, you can put it right there at your scalp so that way you're not spraying you know and making it like you're not spraying your forehead basically so I'm so 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 excited for this um, I'm definitely going to be doing a full review on this so definitely look out for that if you're interested especially if you're experiencing thinning hair I will say this is very pricey um, I'm hoping it's worth the price obviously it's not a permanent fix um, but if this works and it's something I can do like spray in my hair every three days um, and it'll stay and it won't go anywhere like I will be so happy like I don't know if you guys can see you can really see it a lot when my hair is down and I'm just too hot to try to put my hair down right now so anyways that's what I got from Ulta so Lane Bryant had these and then DSW has another pair and I'm gonna buy those like after I start working but I went ahead and I got these but I'm wondering if they look a little too... <laughs> now that I'm thinking of it, like these are size 9. Oh no, the reviews. The reviews said to size up. I was about to say, these are wide. I do not have wide feet. So, I don't know. We'll see how they go. I personally, hold on. Personally would have preferred to have more of a point. They're kind of a little like pointy rounded. Do you see what I'm talking about? So... We'll just see what it looks like on the foot. I don't know. I love anything that goes around the ankle. It's like my favorite. And then it's got like just a mini tiny little heel. So I ended up ordering these, which wow, they're really great quality, y'all. Um, these are really great quality, but dang, their prices are so high. These were $58.90. I mean, I know I got them on sale. So I didn't pay that much, but I got them in a size 22 short, and as you can see, they're just really beautiful black and white hounds tooth print, and they're very nice, like very professional looking. They have faux pockets in the back, but real pockets in the front, hallelujah, and then you also have the belt loops, so super excited about this. I think these are, I got them in short, and I want to say these are... Yes, they're an ankle. So they're ankle skinnies. They didn't look very skinny though. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so ankle skinny, my favorite kind of pant. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and finish <sighs> finish cleaning this pan and this sink. And then I'm gonna go put these up, I guess. Trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming I smell your breath, not listening But I still hear you screaming Going under One step away till you hear what I'm saying Sounds like thunder And the clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it if someone had told me that I will take off and find something greener, greener than gold. So my kitchen's all clean, my vacuum is going. By the way, I have a coupon code for this. You guys can get this little robot vacuum for $189.99. You get 20% off. This thing is amazing, I'm telling you. Everyone needs one of these in their lives. And you guys know I've been talking about my crappy vacuum, how much I hate it. This one, I love. I love and I'm obsessed. Okay, so I'm gonna go start editing. 
And that's probably gonna be it for the day. Before I know it, the kids will be home, it's 112. So I honestly have no idea why I decided to do a voiceover on this one and why I wasn't talking, but we're just gonna roll with it. So these are the pants from Torrid. Um, I love them. They fit really great. They're not snug. Um, I guess they're a little like form fitting, uh, which I personally like. I mean, I think they look great um, right here, like the plaid's like making it look all like weird and stuff. But I love them. I love the way that they fit. I love the length of them. Um, they're super comfortable. They're very, very stretchy. So I'm going to go ahead and link these down below. There's a closer look of them. Um, I personally, like I said, love them. They're very stretchy. They're very comfortable. And I am so excited. These are definitely, probably 98% sure these are the pants I'm going to wear on my first day. So... I'm super excited. They are super duper cute and I will link them down below. So I'm going to try on the shoes. I'm specifically going to try them on with these pants um, because I like the fact that these are kind of like capri length, um, which actually they're ankle length, but these are always capris on me. But hold on, let me put you down. It's Velcro, you guys. So it makes it way easier than them dang button ones. Um, huh. um <laughs> I really don't know about these. I know you guys are all gonna say, those look great on you, but I just, I don't think they're my style. I really don't. And then, Mm, I don't know. My feet actually look really chubby in these. They look like... <sighs> By the way, for reference, I am a size 9. So if you do have a wide foot, you would definitely need to size up on this thing. Because this 9 fits just like a regular 9. It does not fit like a wide 9. And I will also say that I'm kind of like iffy about how they look on the side. Yeah, these are totally not me. They are just not me at all. So I'm definitely gonna take these ones back. Maybe look for a shoe that's like a little more pointed versus pointed round. Um, I'm kind of turned off also by how the ankle kind of like, I can't make it all the way tight because then it just, like, cuts into my ankle. Um, but I don't like the way that it looks. It's kind of almost like you can tell that it needs to be tighter in order for it to lay kind of, like, flush. But it's not. So, yeah, these are definitely going back. They are not my style at all. But, hey... I tried. These pants are a definite keeper though. You guys, they are so comfortable. They actually feel just like my workout leggings. Only they're actually office appropriate. So, and they're super cute. They're gonna go with so much. So I guess I didn't do an outro for this video. I can't find it if I did. I think what happened was I thought I was going to vlog again, but then I started another day. So you guys will see that one soon. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know how long is too long for a vlog because I definitely think I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogging even though I just broke my vlog camera today. <laughs> you guys will see that too. That's coming up because who is been a doozy of a day today. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget if you are new here that I would love if you would subscribe, click the notification bell, um, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!